Hey, my name is Arie. I'm a dyslexic in the field of education studies. And often I wish that people would have known better what it's like to be dyslexic. So I created this little simulation. And at the end of it, I'm going to explain to you what it's all about. But first, uh, let's get into it. So how did it go? For me, it went pretty bad for a pretty long time. Um, and it creates a lot of frustration as you probably have experienced. It has the side effect that you don't really know what the things were about that you read because the decoding process takes so much time. And it does not mean that, that you're not intelligent enough to grasp a concept, to grasp meaning of something. Uh, it just means that this decoding is so difficult. And one way of explaining that why that is, is that dyslexics are more rooted in a three-dimensional world. Let's take this chair as an example. And it kind of looks like a D in this orientation. If we turn around, it becomes a B. If we turn it another time, it becomes a Q. And again, it becomes a P. So these orientations, these different orientations are really important when it comes to letters. But if we are stuck in this three-dimensional world, uh, then these orientations don't really matter. It just remains a chair, whatever orientation you put it in. And that transi transition from a world where these tiny differences don't matter to a world where they do is hard for dyslexics. And that's where a lot of these struggles stem from. There are other different uh, explanations for the, for the problem, but often they're really focused on deficits. And I think that's not a way to go. So let's not go there. And um, yeah. I hope that you got something out of it. Imagine you would experience this every day for several years at school. And um, yeah, have fun with it.